Welcome to Kim Ludd Media. Join us in our Planet Earth series. Today, we explore how marine and atmospheric circulation impact Earth's ecosystems. Our planet needs you. Take action today, support climate initiatives, reduce your carbon footprint, and share this message. Together, we can make a difference. Join us into a journey across the Southern Ocean, a place where Earth's climate story begins and global unity is more vital than ever. In the vast expanse of blue that circles our planet's southernmost reaches, a silent force shapes the fate of the world. The Southern Ocean, remote, wild, and immense, breathes life into every continent, connecting us all through invisible currents and shifting winds. As the camera soars over churning waves and endless ice, we see how distant shores are linked by the ocean's relentless motion. From the icy cliffs of Antarctica to the bustling cities thousands of miles away, the choices we make ripple outward touching every corner of the globe. This is more than a story about a distant sea. It is a call to recognize our shared destiny, a reminder that climate-driven change in one region echoes everywhere. In the face of rising seas, melting ice, and increasingly extreme weather, the world stands at a crossroads. Now, more than ever, we must come together. Because when the Southern Ocean changes, the whole planet feels its pulse. The Southern Ocean's story is a stark reminder no part of our planet is isolated. Changes in Antarctica are now manifesting as floods and ecosystem collapse worldwide. Protecting the Southern Ocean requires both local conservation and global climate action. We must establish new MPAs and unite to value long-term planetary health over short-term gain. But conservation alone isn't enough. We must address the root cause global warming driven by greenhouse gases. This demands a rapid transition away from fossil fuels and restoration of natural climate regulators. The challenge is immense, but not insurmountable. The Southern Ocean is warning us our planet's stability is at a tipping point our response now will define the future for generations to come. In response, a global movement is pushing for marine protected areas, MPAs, in the Southern Ocean. MPAs restrict fishing, creating sanctuaries where ecosystems can recover and build resilience. The Ross Sea MPA, established in 2016, is an initiative that gives hope, but progress on new MPAs has stalled. Proposals for critical areas remain blocked by geopolitical interests. MPAs can't stop climate change, but they can remove other stressors, helping krill and the entire food web adapt. These sanctuaries offer nature a chance to heal and scientists a chance to study. The urgency to act has never been greater. Protecting these waters is vital for biodiversity and climate stability. The Southern Ocean's unique ecosystem is in crisis. Life here evolved to the rhythm of the ice, but as sea ice vanishes, the entire food web is threatened. Antarctic krill, the foundation of this ecosystem, depend on sea ice for food and shelter. Their decline endangers penguins, seals, and whales. Emperor penguins face breeding failures, seals lose vital platforms, whales lose their primary food source. Warming waters disrupt fish distributions and reduce deep sea oxygen, threatening even abyssal life. The entire marine ecosystem is facing a multifaceted crisis. The rapid transformation of the Southern Ocean is pushing life to the brink. The floods of 2024 and 2025 have devastated communities on nearly every continent. In China, deluges overwhelmed dams and displaced millions in Europe. Rivers swelled to historic levels. Spain, South Africa, Nigeria, and the U.S., all faced unprecedented floods as stalled weather fronts unleashed relentless rain. These disasters share a common thread, an atmosphere supercharged with water vapor and locked weather patterns. The scale and frequency of these events point to a systemic cause. Background conditions have changed. The Southern Ocean's instability is now part of our new climate reality. These floods are not just bad luck. They're a signal of a disrupted global regulator. The consequences are now in our streets and homes. Let's take a closer look at the catastrophic floods of 2024 and 2025, country by country. In China, record-breaking rainfall caused devastating floods, breaching dams and forcing millions to evacuate. Europe faced historic river floods, with Germany and Spain among the hardest hit. Rivers overflowed, inundating towns and farmland. In Spain, Valencia and other regions experienced flash floods, damaging infrastructure and homes. 
South Africa endured deadly storms and flooding with entire communities cut off by rising waters. Nigeria, Ghana, and the Democratic Republic of Congo all suffered severe floods, displacing thousands and destroying crops. In the United States, Texas and New York saw unprecedented rainfall with urban flooding disrupting daily life and causing billions in damages. Other regions from Southeast Asia to South America also face deadly floods, highlighting the global scale of this crisis. These events are not isolated. They are linked by changes in atmospheric circulation, ocean currents, and a warming climate. The frequency and intensity of these floods are increasing, putting millions at risk and challenging our ability to adapt. The Southern Ocean's upheaval sends shockwaves across the globe. Released heat and moisture alter temperature and pressure gradients, disrupting jet streams that steer weather worldwide. Wavier jet streams lock storms or heat domes in place, causing record-breaking floods or droughts. A warmer atmosphere holds more moisture, fueling heavier downpours and catastrophic flooding. The changes in the Southern Ocean are loading the dice for more extreme weather everywhere. Scientists now link specific events to these shifts. The energy released from Antarctica is supercharging storms and rainfall worldwide. Instability at the bottom of the world is now felt in our own backyards. The Maud Rise Polinia is a dramatic example of the Southern Ocean's changing dynamics. It's not just open water, it's a chimney channeling warm, salty water from the deep ocean to the surface. This upwelling releases ancient heat stored for centuries directly into the polar atmosphere. The energy released is immense, preventing sea ice formation and creating a feedback loop of further warming. The Polynia's influence extends far beyond its boundaries, altering regional weather and wind patterns. It's a stark warning. The deep ocean's heat and carbon are no longer locked away. The conditions that allowed the Polynia to form are spreading across the Southern Ocean. This mechanism can rapidly shift the energy balance of the polar regions. Its consequences are only beginning to be understood. Let's explore how advanced marine circulation models can help us understand these changes. Marine circulation models simulate the movement of water masses, revealing how shifts in the Southern Ocean impact global currents. Atmospheric circulation models show how heat and moisture from the Southern Ocean influence weather patterns worldwide. AI-driven analysis combines satellite data, ocean sensors, and weather records to predict extreme events like floods and heat waves. These models help us identify hotspots, forecast risks, and inform disaster response efforts. By integrating real-time data, AI models continuously improve, offering new insights into our changing planet. This technology is vital for understanding the links between the Southern Ocean, climate change, and catastrophic floods. At the heart of these changes is the Southern Meridional Overturning Circulation, or SMOG. Traditionally, cold, fresh water spread across the surface while warmer, saltier water flowed beneath, maintaining climate stability. Now, this pattern is reversing. Warm, salty, deep water is rising, eroding the cold surface barrier that once insulated Antarctic ice. This exposes ice shelves to ancient heat, accelerating melt. The feedback loop is clear. Melting ice weakens circulation, which brings more heat to the surface, causing even faster melt. A reversed SMOC alters how the ocean exchanges heat and carbon with the atmosphere. As deep water surfaces, it releases centuries-old carbon dioxide, potentially speeding up global warming. The ocean conveyor that once buried our excess heat and carbon now threatens to return it. The consequences are profound and global. The Southern Ocean's transformation is reshaping the planet's climate engine, since 2015, scientists have observed unprecedented changes in the Southern Ocean. Antarctic sea ice, once stable, has plummeted to record lows year after year. Surface waters are growing saltier, a sign of disrupted mixing and altered ocean chemistry. The Maud Rise Polynya, a massive ice-free area, has reappeared, venting deep ocean heat into the polar atmosphere. These aren't isolated events. They're interconnected symptoms of a system in rapid transition. The ocean is shifting from predictability to volatility. The buffer that once protected the Antarctic ice sheet is under strain. The mechanisms that kept this ocean stable are breaking down before our eyes. The Southern Ocean is behaving in ways we've never seen before. Its transformation is a warning for the entire planet. Our planet is a world of water, and at its southernmost extreme lies the Southern Ocean, a vast, churning expanse encircling Antarctica. This ocean is a powerhouse absorbing excess heat and carbon dioxide and acting as a global climate regulator. Here, the Atlantic Pacific and Indian Oceans converge their waters driven by the mighty Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the largest on Earth. 
This current distributes heat worldwide shaping weather patterns from Asia to Europe. The Southern Ocean's health is directly tied to climate stability everywhere as sea ice forms salty, dense water sinks fueling the global ocean conveyor belt that circulates oxygen and nutrients across the planet. For centuries, we've relied on this remote ocean to maintain balance, but its steady pulse is now faltering. The rhythms that have defined our climate are changing faster and more dramatically than ever before. The shield it once provided is weakening and the effects are rippling across the globe. The Southern Ocean is no longer just a distant wilderness. It's central to our own future. Its processes dictate the health of marine environments everywhere as its stability unravels. So too does the balance of life on Earth. The story of the Southern Ocean is now the story of us all. The Southern Ocean's transformation is a warning and a call to action for all of humanity. By combining scientific knowledge, AI analysis, and global cooperation, we can confront these challenges together. Protecting the Southern Ocean means protecting our future. The time to act is now. Our planet's story is still being written and every one of us holds the pen. The Southern Ocean's changes are not just distant headlines. They are urgent reminders that the health of our world depends on our choices today. Let hope for a future where thriving oceans regulate our climate, where communities are resilient, and where nature's wonders endure for generations to come. This future is possible, but only if we act together. Support climate action. Demand bold policies. Protect fragile ecosystems. Every voice, every decision, every action matters. Join the global movement for a healthier planet. Share this message. Stay informed. And most importantly, don't give up hope. Our collective action can turn the tide for the Southern Ocean and for all life on Earth. Share this video with your friends. By staying informed and united, we become powerful stewards for our planet's future. Every share, every conversation, and every small action ripples outward, strengthening the movement for a healthier, more sustainable world. So let's keep the momentum going and together let's shape a brighter future for our oceans, our climate, and ecosystems for generations yet to come. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Kimlud Media.